After the topic of dot product or scalar product, it is a time to understand the cross product or vector product. So what is cross product or what is vector product we have to know. Suppose we have two non-zero vectors, these are a vector and b vector. Now these vectors, if I have to form a scalar product, then it would be a dot b. But if I have to form a cross product, then it will be nothing but a cross b. So the cross product of these two vectors will be read as a cross b and that is nothing but equal to a vector b vector sin theta. So this time it is not cos theta but it is sin theta and you can also have one unit vector n cap associated to the system. So if a cross b I have to compute then it is nothing but the product of the magnitudes of a vector and b vector and the sine of angle between them and it is such that the theta or the angle is basically perpendicular to the plane in which the a and b vector lie. So a, b and theta these constitute a right angle handed system. About this much detail we will be studying in the next video. But for now we have to keep it in our minds that this is not similar to the scalar product. This is a vector product. What is it? A vector product. So that means direction is also important in this not only the magnitude like we studied in the previous videos of the scalar product there was no concern with the direction. But this time there is also concern with the direction as well as the magnitude.